So in today's video, we're going to discuss why I program with a top set and a back off set. And for context, is there anything wrong with straight sets? No, I'm not here to say this is better. I'm here to say this is how I program for my clients. These are the style of results we get. This, And I'll show you why I do it and, and why I think it's good. And if you like it, you can apply it to your own training. And then if you don't, that's also okay. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name's Tom Sergi. I run the Gorilla Patu where we managed to get results like this from using this style of a training method. Um, my promise to you in this video is that you'll know why I do top sets, back off sets, and then how to prescribe them and do them in your own training. Who is this not for? Honestly, beginners don't really need to do a top set and a back off set. This is more of an intermediate to advanced uh, strategy, so not, not everyone needs to use it. And again, there's nothing wrong with straight sets at all. Um, but where top set and back off set is very effective for intensity, it's just not needed for, for beginners. You will get a brilliant dosage um, of, of stress on the muscle from, from doing straight sets. So, so you actually don't really need it. And if you're a beginner, then you don't need to continue watching this video if you don't want to. Uh, but if you've been training any longer than a year to, to 18 months, then I, I suggest this could be a good tool to put in your arsenal. Now, let's go into why I do it. So for starters you will accumulate less junk volume because I know when people do three sets and eight to 12, the last set is not really there when it comes to intensity because you're trying to move the same load that you did when you were fresh in the first set and you just haven't got the capacity to do that within the second set. So you just end up accumulating, like going through the motions style of training. If I tell you, you've only got two shots to make that fucking muscle grow, you're going to do, you're going to be a lot more effective with your work. If I say you've got, you've got to, You've got a rep range of 6 to 10 for your top set. You need to move as much load as possible. You'll be direct, you'll be deliberate, and you'll be effective with that set. Now, when you do the back off set, you will go into that set, but we drop the load by 20% because that will manage your fatigue you've accumulated on the front set, which means when you go into that back off set, the load is relative to your state of fatigue going into that set, and it means you can now push the numbers higher. I also find with clients, it's just a bit more motivating to do it this way because you've only got two shots you don't want to miss. You want to grow that tissue on the chest. You, you, you're, you're going to be more effective when you go into it. If, you, if you've just got three sets of eight to ten, it's monotonous. It's the same and it gets a bit boring. So I find it just stimulates the mind in a different way. The next point is there's less uh, fatigue and connective tissue stress. Because you're doing something that's of a higher quality, you're not burning the wheel again and again and again and again. You're just doing one top set and then a back off set for that movement pattern, of course. Your amount of time you've used something is less. It's the same equivalent like, let's say you needed to get up in your car to a certain speed. You do it once and go really up fast as, as you can versus like again and again, high, high, low, high, low, high, low, high, low, going through the gears. Like it's just more wear and tear on the car. The same thing for your joints. The next reason I do it is it makes you train harder. Going back to the point I said, if you've only got six to 10, you're going to push that set. You're going to train as hard as you possibly can. Because again, you can't afford to miss. If, if, you, if you just mince that set, you're not going to hit that muscle again for a while. And, and, you, and you've just tickled the set. Which, that's, let's be honest, that's what a lot of people are doing when they're training. That's why they're not seeing the results that they are doing. It focuses on mechanical tension. So to be fair, I probably should have started with this point. But the goal of, to build muscle is to put mechanical tension on the muscle. Uh, and I've done I've done videos on on how on what that is, and you can just watch that in uh, the video of Are you training hard enough? You can check that out if you want to. Um, but being able to put mechanical tension on the muscle is what makes it grow. This is why when I sometimes make the argument that if you just want to grow your quads, maybe it might be better to do a leg press instead of a back squat. Because let's be honest, what's going to fail first on your back squat? Your quads or your lower back? Even if you've got a belt on. It's, it's going to be your lower back because it's just not as strong as your quads. That's the long and short of it. So if I support your lower back and support your hips and then put you on a leg press, can we move more load? Of course we can. So can we put more mechanical tension on the muscle? Yes. So that's why mechanical tension is important. The, the ability of only doing two sets means we can shift more load on that top set, which means we can put more stress through the muscle, therefore make it reach a point we couldn't do before. Look at it like this. You're going to do three sets of 8 to 12 in a normal straight set scenario. You will be able to lift a certain amount of load to that point. And you're going to try to meet, meet that three times over. But let's say the threshold to actually grow the muscle was here. But because you're doing three sets of 12, you're conserving your energy, trying to get them all around about the same point within the 8 to 12 rep range. 
you never really push that extra two to four kilo up that you could have done, that you needed to to get to that next stage. Whereas when you're doing that top set back off set, you're in that position where you can really push intensity to points that you just weren't able to do before when you're doing straight sets. And then the last, the last point is it gives you more time for other exercises. If time is tight for you, which I know it is for a lot of people, like I can, I can go to the gym for two hours a day and I fucking love, love, live and breathe it, but I appreciate not everyone can and not everyone should have to. It doesn't have to be your life if it doesn't want to be. It, it's mine because I fucking love it. Obviously, I make videos about it, but like if you just want to go to the gym, get a good body and just be healthy, I appreciate you. You know, some, some of you want to go four times a week, three times a week. That's fine. This method will work wonders for you because you're doing two sets. All right, you did a set to get warm up to it. But now you've got, you can allocate, if you, don't, if you do that across three exercises and you're saving a set across three, each exercise, there's another separate exercise you can go and do. So you, your variety is, is spread further. But honestly, the main reason why I program like this is people train harder. People just train harder. If I tell you you've got two shots, don't miss, you're going to fucking train harder. And the fact that your rep range is six to ten, you, you're going to push it more than if it was uh, a higher rep range. So that's why I do it. None of it's really sexy uh, answer that maybe you were looking for, that the, the weird science of this gives this result. I've just shown this is what I do and, and this is the result it gets. So if you find it useful, that, that, that's nice. Uh, how we actually do it is you do one heavy of a 6 to 10 and then you back off to 12 to 15. But you need to drop the low by 20%. And honestly, like when that back offset comes, it's not going to feel light at all. It's, it's, you're going to think, fuck it, well, this is heavy. This is for 12 reps. Are you, are, you, are you fucking sure? Yeah, I'm sure. And that's how you know you're training with true fucking intensity. So honestly, when you drop it by 20%, it's not going to feel much easier. It's really not. But it's the right equivalent of drop relative to the amount of fatigue you've just accumulated on that front set. So, so that's why it's uh, a drop the low by 20%. As a rule of thumb, it might be 15 on some and 25 on other, others as a rule of thumb. Now... There are points where I wouldn't say do this, and they'd mainly be for your isolation exercises. So for lateral raises, tricep extension, overhead extension, bicep curls, I wouldn't be doing this. Maybe for tricep dips that's really loadable, maybe for weighted chin-ups or standing barbell curl, you could work for it. But I find anything in isolation, I wouldn't be doing just a top set and a back off set. This works very well for all other exercises which make up the majority of your program uh, being compound multi joint movements but I wouldn't be doing this for isolation exercises I'd be doing three now that doesn't mean to say you can't still do your first set is in that heavier rep range and then after that you, you push the reps up you do you kind of kind of look at it like you do two back off sets you could definitely get away with doing two back off sets and likewise if you're going to do machines you could get away with two back off sets again. Why? Well, the machine is more stable. And because it's more stable, you're not wasting energy to actually stabilize like you would on a dumbbell press. So you can put that energy into a back off set. Now, I don't do that, but could you do it? Yes. Would I do I do an extra back off set on isolation? Yeah, that, that works fine for me. So quick video. This is why I do it. And that's how I do it. And the results that we get off the back of it are this, which is quite nice. Uh, so yeah, if you found this video useful, Subscribe to the channel. If you didn't, don't. It's fair enough. But I'll see you tomorrow.